everyone. Today I, Punitika Batra, faculty from Management Department of Technia Institute of Advanced Studies is going to deliver a lecture on International Human Resource Management. Human Resource Management refers to formal system devised for the management of people within a particular organization. It is a set of organizational activities aimed at effectively managing and directing human resources towards achieving the desired organizational goals. In normal course of action, the typical functions performed by human resource management staff are recruitment, selection, training, development programs, activities that relate with performance appraisal, the dismissal, transfers, managing promotions, and so on. Now let us talk about what is International Human Resource Management. International Human Resource Management is a set of activities that are aimed at managing organizational human resources at international level to achieve organizational objectives and achieve competitive advantage over competitors at national and also at the international level. IHRM includes typical HRM functions that we just discussed that were recruitment, selection, training, development, performance appraisal, dismissal, but those activities are done at international level and additional activities such as global skills management, expatriate management, are also the part of international human resource management. Well, let's talk about the simpler terms. In simple terms, IHRM is more concerned about managing human resources at multinational companies. And it majorly involves managing three kinds of employees. The first one being the home country employees. Those are the employees who belong to home country of the firm where the corporate headquarters is situated. For example, a Chinese citizen working for a Chinese company in India. Next, the host country employees. Employees belonging to the nation in which the subsidiary is situated. For example, an Indian citizen working for a Chinese company but in India. The third country employees. These are the employees who are not from either the home country or the host country but are employed at subsidiary or corporate headquarters. For example, an American MNC which has a subsidiary at India may employ a Dutch person as the CEO to the subsidiary. The Dutchman employed is a third country employee for he neither belongs to the home country nor to the host country. Well, let us discuss what are the differences between domestic HRM and international HRM. The domestic HRM is done at national level while international human resource management is done at the international level. Domestic human resource management is concerned with managing employees belonging to one particular nation and international human resource management is concerned with managing employees belonging to many nations wherein you will be having home country employees, host country employees and the third country employees. Domestic HRM is concerned with managing limited number of HRM activities that are applicable only at the national level. While IHRM has a wider scope, it is concerned with managing additional activities for example, the expatriate management, the domestic HRM is less complicated due to less influence from the external environment. It does has an influence of the global environment, but the extent is quite low. While if we talk about the IHRM, it is very complicated and it is affected heavily by external factors such as cultural factors, the political factors, the legal factors the institutional factors and all those factors that are part of the external environment of any organization that operates globally. Well, let us discuss what are the various objectives of international human resource management. 
The objectives of international human resource management are focused at the organizations operating at the international front. The first objective is to create a local appeal without compromising on global identity. The other objective is to generate a harmonious cross-cultural relationship by employing staff globally across the boundaries. IHRM has an important objective of training on culture and sensitivities of the host countries. Another objective is to manage the diversified human resource capital that is available across the globe. And another important objective of IHRM is to avoid regional disparities. Well, I hope all of you are clear with the concept of international human resource management and the objectives that relate with it and also how international human resource management is different from domestic human resource management. Thank you. Have a nice day.